Halloween is right around the corner, but it's not just about the kids and the candy. It can be about adults, too. Adults Absolutely. need to have a little bit of fun. So, of course, we've brought in Queen of Fun, Alexandra Hadeen, lifestyle and entertaining expert. Good morning. Good morning. Well, not everyone has kids that are going to go trick-or-treating. Good point. They age out pretty darn quick, and not everyone has kids, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, having a dinner party and celebrating Halloween is a really fun way to still recognize this is a fun day about having fun with friends. Yeah. Um, without having to just run from house to house, That's gathering not just candy. tiny little candy bars. You can eat and drink so much. Yes, yes. <laughs> Within moderation. Within moderation. So the trick to an adult dinner party really is figuring out a color scheme. And what I like for Halloween is just to pick something that's all sort of the same color. So I went with black, white, gray, which feels very adult. It's not the like bright black and orange that kids would do. This is much more mature. And then with just some hints towards the holiday, like using these skeleton hands as napkin <laughs> holders and putting a pumpkin up on um, a candlestick, just subtle ways to really bring the holiday in without being too silly. It smells really good. So what did we make? So I made what I like to call vampire noodles. So this is <laughs> squid ink pasta with shrimp. This is a recipe from Weeknight Society, which is my app. So you can download it in the iTunes store, or you can find this recipe on weeknightsociety.com. And squid ink noodles and shrimp together are a classic Italian combination. So this works really well. It's delicious. It's elevated. It's elegant. And it takes about 20 minutes. Easy. Yes. That's and it's really about good. five ingredients. I also see alcohol. Well, clearly. No. <laughs> I mean, if we're talking about an adult party. I'm not drinking it, but I can still well, smell it. And I've it got smells a solution. <laughs> so um, around this time of year, it's fun to have a festive cocktail. So I have corn syrup on a plate here. Okay, the problem with a festive cocktail, though, is they're usually like something black or yeah. use a lot of food coloring in the drink, and I just think that's icky. So <laughs> I have red food coloring in corn syrup. And I'm just going to try to get it all red. And then we take a martini glass here and just get it in the edges. Ooh. And then we have this bloody spooky rim. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that fun? And I it'll start that. to drip in a minute and sort of go down the edges. Let's do both of them because we're going to need two cocktails. Oh, duh. Uh-huh, clearly. <laughs> uh, and you can see it just takes a second. So this is really easy to do, fun. Festive without being silly. Cocktail shaker with sounds. ice. <laughs> We're gonna add a little bit of gin. Just a dash. <laughs> uh, Luxardo, which is um, the original maraschino liqueur. So when you have the like good maraschino cherries, mm -hmm. This is what they're made with. Oh. So we're going to add a splash of that. This is a little bit like an aviator cocktail, but we're not going to make it purple. Okay. Because that's not Anti what I'm going for. <laughs> Squeeze a lemon, and then an, I lost the shaker top, so we'll fake it. <laughs> Still sounds good. <laughs> and then strain it into a glass here. And it's this delicious cocktail that's not overly sweet, that's not something Light. goofy and silly. Um, but if you are abstaining <laughs> from alcohol this year, for whatever reason, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of grenadine in the bottom of this glass. And then we're going to top it with Dry's Fuji Apple, which is one of my favorites. And it's National Apple Month, so oh, it works all the way around. <gasps> that looks so good. Isn't that delish? Yes. And look at... Those spooky drips are coming down the sides of our glasses like I love little it. bloody cocktails. Oh, thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Halloween. Oh, that's good. That is really good. <laughs> <laughs> just going to keep this. And one more time, I know that the app and the website are both super easy to follow for all of these recipes. Yes, weeknightsociety.com and Weeknight Society in the iTunes store. And recipes, ideas, crafts, cookies, anything you could hope for, it's all there. Made simply. Yes. So nice to have it simply because we don't have a whole lot of time. No, we don't. <laughs> Alexander Hedin, thank you so much. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Cheers.